I'm going to be very interesting to see when the uh, Raw ratings come out in the quarter hours because this opening segment of Raw was like the funniest unintentional comedy in the sense that Seth Rollins and Cody came out and literally talked about how, my God, Rock did 21 minutes. Who could listen to this guy talk for 21 minutes? He just droned on and on for 21 minutes, they said. And the segment's over. I look at the clock. They had him out there for 23 minutes. <laughs> and the irony is, not only did they go out there and ramble longer than The Rock did, but they said less. Rock in his 21-minute promo, I mean, essentially, he told the entire storyline that he has created in his head for this entire thing. He filled in a lot of blanks. And ultimately, it set up a big match for WrestleMania. Rock and Roman Reigns versus Seth and Cody. Meanwhile, Seth and Cody went 23 minutes. And literally after 23 minutes, they didn't even accept the challenge. They said, we'll see you on Friday and give us our answer. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And did it that took forever to say nothing. <laughs> Lance, you raised your hand. What do you think of The Rock's 21 minute? I was just blown away. I was just away. Raising, raising my hand because you said, who could listen to this guy cut a promo for 21 minutes? I'd give that guy an hour. I can sit there and listen to The Rock cut promos for a pretty damn long time, I'll tell you that. And I was watching the promo, and, you know, Seth, Seth had to get something out. And <laughs> in his defense, I'm sure he did not come up with this on his own. And I'd bet you anything that it was probably Brian Gortz and The Rock that came up with it. But Seth has to go out there, and this is on him, yes, in the dumbest-looking outfit. Well. He looked like a banana that got <laughs> dipped in nuclear waste. And he goes out there, and on top of looking like an idiot, he has to drop the line, diarrhea Dwayne. Uh, I thought, my God, my God. Hold on, though. You have given Rock so much material in this 22 minutes and it's not material that's like going to get you over brother you look like a fool talking about diarrhea Dwayne well, as a grown Brian, man in your 30s and man rock is going to obliterate this guy if Brian Gwertz gave it to him then God. is this some sort of you know some sort of plan that they're you know setting up on Seth Rollins there I mean isn't it on the wrestler at some point to go look yeah, the guy's on the board. I, it's know, the rock. No, he's not saying oh, that. Come on. Stop. So now we got another situation. Why don't where you ask Lance? He's been there. Rock's on the Lance board. Lance and Seth stepping up and guts. going, no, Dwayne. I'm not saying diarrhea, Dwayne. Yeah, unless you tell me, hey, we already have a merch rollout ready for this. Hey, guess what? Can I come up I'm with sure something they do. other than diarrhea, Dwayne? I'm Although sure the shirts again, are out. I'll look right well, now. Oh, God. Then again, if he dresses like that, maybe he was all for that line. I don't know. Lance, save I, I me would, on this. I, would, I think I would actually ask. Rock has always been an approachable, decent guy. I think I would ask. It's like, we got something else. That's I was really say, bad. This is a guy that cuts promos for a living. He's an actor for a living, dialogue for a living. you got a guy there who's in charge, and Paul Levesque, who made a career out of cutting promos. I think Seth Rollins, at this point in the game, has probably earned enough cachet to go, I don't know about diarrhea, Dwayne. But then again, maybe he thought it was a hot bar. I just... It was terrible, I thought. Well, it's but possible. But again, this is where we're at with The Rock again, with childish insults. I mean, that's what he does. And it's possible that Seth did say, are you kidding me? This is the line. And maybe <laughs> enough people insisted, and Seth's a team player and took the bullet. <laughs> where's Where's The Rock's merch? Roman Reigns. On his own site. <laughs> he got that Doesn't Rock start with too. an R? Am I wrong here? Or is it... Look Start with a T. Look the, at the Rock D for Dwayne. God damn! Look, it does start with a D, or a T. <laughs> the Rock. You have to search by T. Alphabetical by the. <laughs> yeah. Nah, there's no. Uh, there's not currently a Diarrhea Dwayne shirt. But by the no. end of the day, I'll are you still you. upset by the way that you never got your A holes shirt from Braun Breaker? I'm actually and, uh... surprised that we never got that, but whatever. <laughs> You knew they were going wolf dogs. You just wanted it to be the other way. So a couple of notes from Raw. Full report was on Observer Live for subscribers at WrestlingObserver.com last night. Or you can go to WrestlingObserver.com. My full, full Raw report is up there in text form for all of you. 
But uh, one of my favorite things on the show was Gunther and Dirty Dom. Love that match. It was a combination of... Well, I should, probably put, shouldn't put the guy over. But I saw stuff like this in the 90s. I'll just put it that way. And uh, Gunther absolutely, completely destroyed this guy. To played total babyface in this match. And finally, he uh, gave Dom this power bomb. Oh, my God. And then put him in a half crab and submitted him. Got an enormous pop when Gunther won. I loved this match. And then later they announced that they're going to do a gauntlet next week, which is going to be a six-person gauntlet. Sami Zayn, Ricochet, Shinsuke Nakamura, Bronson Reed, J.D. McDonough, and Chad Gable. Let me read those names again. <laughs> Sami Zayn, Ricochet, Shinsuke Nakamura, Bronson Reed, J.D. McDonough, and Chad Gable in a gauntlet match, which means it's probably going close to an hour, and it's probably going to be awesome. Mm. The winner faces Gunther at WrestleMania. And I think of all of the names, there are two favorites. Okay? One of them is Chad Gable. And I'm only saying he's a favorite because for the last two weeks, they have done a catchphrase whenever he's talked about wanting to face Gunther. And he, he talked about it last week. He talked about it this week. It just means more. This is not just for the belt for me, he says. It's for my family. I want to wipe that smile off Gunther's face and give it to my daughter. It just means more. Okay? And then obviously the other one is Sammy. Because Sammy has been talking for weeks. He has no path to mania. He knows he can be a winner. He knows he can be a champion. And he needs it to prove to the people that they didn't get behind him for nothing. And I think the most obvious possibility here, given that the Raw the week after WrestleMania is in Montreal, I would say the favorite is Sami Zayn to win the gauntlet and the title. I don't think it's impossible that it would be a three-way with Chad Gable, but I think Sami's in the match and I think he's winning the title. That's my prediction. You I get a think, heck of a reaction in Montreal, that's for sure. You don't yeah, say. Yeah, really, for sure. And, hey, have it, have him go through and face Chad Gable at the end and have him still, okay, we have Chad Gable in there with Sammy. He still has to go another 20 minutes with Chad Gable. We get a great wrestling match out of it. And during this process, Bronson Reed maybe slips on a banana peel. There's something that happens where – because you got to beat a giant on the way to WrestleMania, and usually this is the, for the title picture. But I wouldn't mind seeing Sami Zayn against Bronson Reed in a one-on-one -on -one match that leads into his match at WrestleMania, or is a feud relatively quickly after him getting out of WrestleMania. I kind of like that combination together, and I think it would be a great use of Bronson Reed. And if he is going to be a guy that they can rely on and get over and move up the card, Sami Zayn is a perfect person, I think, for him to be in the mix with. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't